Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason these applications keep telling you your device isn't compatible with this version. Now this happens to me every so often on some of these older Androids, but also on some of my newer Samsungs and you know Pixels I can have this you know problem as well. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is to actually hop out of the Google Play Store and all you want to do is go ahead and see if there's an update available for your Android device. So you want to go inside of your settings you want to go to wherever you go ahead and actually software update your device. So for us, it's right here. And you want to go ahead and see if there's an update available. So click check for updates or whatever type of process it is on your you know, Android phone and go and see if there's a software available. And if it says that there's a software update available, you want to go ahead and update to it. And typically that should end up fixing the problem. You make your way over to your apps panel right here. You go ahead and try to find the Google Play Store, which should be under Play Store, which is right here. You want to go and click on it and you want to go ahead and click Force Stop. Now what that's going to do is it's going to force stop all the processes of the Play Store and all you may have to do is go and make your way back into the Play Store like this and you want to try re-downloading that specific application. Again, it's not a guarantee that this will fix it, but it is one of those other things you can do to pretty much fix that problem. Now if that fixes it, then you're set. If that doesn't fix it, then the next thing I'd recommend doing is to install that specific application via an APK. So what you can do here is you can make your way over to your internet browser and you want to go ahead and find that specific application that you wanted to download. So in this case, let's say I wanted to download, you know, Snapchat. Well, in this case, I would go ahead and Google Snapchat APK just like this, and I would do my due diligence to find a reputable APK that doesn't have malware in it. So you're going to have to kind of scroll through and find ones that have, you know, decent amount of reviews and all that stuff because you do not want to get a virus on your Android phone. So go ahead, do your research, find out how to install that find out the best APK for that specific application, go ahead and download it and you should be good to go. I think this website APK, I think some of these like up to down, you know, websites are pretty decent, but again, do your research and you want to find an APK and you want to install the APK that way. Again, it's not a guarantee, but that is just another alternative method you have of actually fixing, you know, this specific thing. If it still doesn't work, you can try restarting your phone, but typically you should be fixed. If not, then your phone may be super outdated and there's really not much you can do at that point. So that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.